Hey YouTube, Friedrich here with another quick tip for Blender Grease Pencil. This time we're gonna have a look on how to quickly add textures and grain to your scenes and illustrations. Let's dive into it. So here I have an illustration that I did the other day. It's very clean and digital, there's nothing on this and I want to change that. One way of doing this is completely within Blender and you don't need any materials from outside. So let's have a look on that. You go here on the sidebar onto the textures and create a new texture. In this texture bar you're going to select noise. Next we're going under compositing and yours probably is empty here. So just click here on render and then it renders a pre-image. Check the use nodes here on the top and connect these. To create new nodes, you press Shift A and then search, not A, but Viewer first. This is our viewer and we're going to connect it to our image. And now in the background, we see our rendered version and it keeps up to date with whatever we do here. Here you can zoom in and out and Shift A, A under input, texture. And here we can select our texture number four and we need to combine that with the other layer with another shift a mixing node mix node and this one goes in the bottom this one on the top this one here and this one in there and here we can select our overlay and then decrease the opacity of it. That is all good and nice and if you're happy with that result feel free to render that F12. But there is another texture I would like to show you. Instead of noise select magic and magic is looking a bit weird at first but there's a couple of things you can change to it. So First of all the depth, put that to like 12 or something. And then turbulence, go all the way up. At some point the pixel zone gets smaller. Yeah. Something like that. There is some nice digital grain here as well. That looks actually fairly nice. What I also do is I just, I will kind of duplicate these. Kind of experimental look anyways, but I'll show you quickly. color in here select another one that I already did number three and I change this one to bigger again and it gives sort of like this nice little very soft nuances in the background and in the colors. See the shifts here? Let me render F12. Yeah, that's it. Feel free to play around with these textures and see you soon for more quick tips on Blender Grease Pencil. Bye bye. That wraps it up. I hope you could take something away from this video. If you want to learn more about Blender and my keyboard shortcuts that I set up for 2D animation, feel free to check out the link in the description below, leading you to my Gumroad course, teaching you everything that you would need to know to start using Blender as a 2D frame by frame tool without the 3D parts of it. I hope to see you soon on this channel with a lot more tutorials and quick tips all around Blender and other 2D animation tools. Until then, Bye-bye.